The Extinction Rebellion, also known as XR, was founded in the UK in 2018. The organization is a grassroots, decentralized organization that engages in mass civil disobedience to enact political change. Their aims, to have governments declare a climate emergency, to create a citizens' assembly on climate change, and to reduce greenhouse emissions to net zero by 2025. In November 2018, 6,000 protesters blocked the five main bridges in London for several hours. In October 2019, there were simultaneous protests in London, New York, Berlin, Sydney, and cities all around the world. To what can we attribute this rapid growth in popularity? Social media is the backbone of the Extinction Rebellion movement. It acts as an organizational tool, allowing coordinated strikes across cities with real-time sharing of movements. It is a network to rapidly promote pro-XR media. It is a gallery to share content. We're mainly split into the four main platforms that we use, which is Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Two of XR's working principles are that we actively mitigate for power, and that we're also based on autonomy and decentralization. Social media provides the perfect decentralized space for XR to operate. The movement has no one face, no one spokesperson. Its face is largely social media pages curated by independent members who may change on a daily basis, who may never meet one another. Facing the real risk of police violence, XR members can live stream their protests to social media platforms, knowing that it is not a phone that can be confiscated or a witness who can be silenced. The XR's most powerful stories are the stories of self-sacrifice of members who voluntarily get arrested or, in some cases, sent to prison. Social media has always been a place of personal stories, a place where an emotive message gets the currency of popularity, the like. It is hard to imagine XR existing without social media. Their protests may be powerful to those present on the day, but really it is social media where these protests can spread their message to the masses. It is how these messages that shared, how to reach the most people on social media, that provides the real challenge. And XR has found some fascinating ways of gaining popularity. On the 17th of October 2019, XR activists targeted Canning Town Tube Station in London. As protesters climbed on the trains, commuters quickly turned violent. The video of the incident became headline news around the world. The top YouTube video of the event has over 650,000 views. setting about their daily lives. I think one little girl missed a ballet exam. What you've done is you've stopped ordinary people going to work, so haven't you surely shot yourself in the foot? I don't think we've got it wrong necessarily because today I'm sitting in this studio and we've been bumped three times from this morning's studios in the last 10 days, and it's taken us being this disruptive to get on your programme... Is that to why you did talk it? About... <laughs> so that man glued himself onto to an electric train this morning for his grandchildren and so that you could get on this morning? <laughs> Not so that we could get on this morning, obviously, but unless we do very, very disruptive actions, people do not want to talk to us. They do not want to talk about the emergencies we're facing, which is why you bumped us. Uh we just weren't newsworthy enough. The emergency we're facing was not newsworthy enough, and so you talked about something else. But now I'm sitting here and I can talk to all of those people who watch this program. The popularity of this particular video has several possible explanations. It is widely observed that mainstream media thrives on violence. As social media theorists have observed, it is sometimes harassment, bullying and attacks that generate likes and retweets online. There were several controversies around the strike. A lot of people in Canning Town, in that particular part of East London, are from uh, working class backgrounds. They're working class people trying to get to work, make the daily bread. I heard one person shouting, I'm just trying to get to work, I need to feed my family. It is also known that trains are some of the most environmentally friendly methods of transport to work. Furthermore, preceding the strike, XR actually used a Facebook poll to gain a consensus on whether members approved of the action. However, it is all these controversies that generated popularity. Of course, XR has opposition. They too use methods to popularize their views. During the October protests, online trolls used this image to appear to show litter left by XR protesters in Sydney. In reality, it was from the aftermath of a pro-marijuana protest hosted in London some time before. Here, the controversy, the apparent hypocrisy of the group, 
generated popularity. Despite posts to show the image as a hoax, the post was shared more than 37,000 times. In this speech, Prime Minister Scott Morrison uses emotive language to cast protesters as smug enemies of real Australians, and as extremists who aim to control people's thoughts and speech. Here, fear is used to generate an emotive response and create controversy. A new breed of radical activism is on the march. Apocalyptic in tone, Brooks no compromise, all or nothing, alternative views, not permitted, one that cannot resist sneering at wealth creating and job creating industries, sectors that just happen to produce more than 70% of our export income. We must be vigilant in responding to these new extreme versions in all of its manifestation of environmentalism. One variant of this new absolutist activism, anarchism even, is testing the limits of the right to protest. The right to protest does not mean there is an unlimited license to disrupt people's lives and disrespect your fellow Australians. There is no place for economic sabotage dressed up as activism. Let me assure you, this is not something my own government intends to allow to go unchecked. We are working to identify serious mechanisms that can successfully outlaw these indulgent and selfish practices that threaten the livelihoods of fellow Australians. Mm -hmm.